What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Nev from Nev's Tech, but today we're going to be checking out the U-Block 7 USB GPS system. Not just GPS, but also GLONASS. So, <clears throat> GPS was created by the American military. GLONASS was the Russian equivalent of that. There's also one more, it's Sage, and, it's, and I forget what the name of it is. But anyways, this unit brings the two powers together with one GPS unit. And first off, we'll have a look at the hardware, the unit itself, a little bit of a teardown. Come on, autofocus. I was surprised to find that there was a battery on board, spot welded. So this is going to be another one of those pieces of machinery that uh, one day the battery is going to die, and then it's pretty much done. You might as well just throw it out. It's spot welded on there, so good luck getting another one on there unless you really know what's going on. Then I don't even know if it needs to be reprogrammed or what. Okay, so let's get this thing in here. And we'll move on to the next step, which is testing it. There we go. By the way, the U-Blox uh, Corporation gives you a free Windows-based program to use this. And also, you should know, this thing's only 10 bucks. What, how can you go wrong for 10 bucks? So, honestly, I seen this thing on eBay and I was like, wow, 10 bucks, I gotta get that. Uh, what am I gonna use it for? Who cares, it's 10 bucks. So what I've decided to try is I have this Windows 10 tablet. Now, Windows 10 actually has a map app on it, a location app, a location app, and it, it'll use either, a, I believe it'll use a GPS or it will use your Wi-Fi. Believe it or not, there's a lot of programs that can tell where you are just based off your Wi-Fi. But one of the unfortunate parts, of course, that is not where I am. Anyways, one of the unfortunate parts of bringing an old piece of tech uh, out and getting it going again is the updates. This thing did have my location and I tried to tried to get it going basically and it told me well you don't have enough room for updates. So I'm gonna get this thing going then I'm gonna be walking down the street and seeing if I can use it as my GPS. See if I can use this as my GPS with a special handy dandy adapter that no tech guy should be with there. This tablet will only take a uh, USB micro I got that here. I'm hoping I'll just be able to slam this in like that and away we go. But I gotta wait for this ancient piece of hardware to get going before I can test this. Out. Oh, it had me for a sec. It had me. This thing's uh, it's figuring stuff out somehow. Anyways, stick with me. Sweet. Apparently it thinks I'm in the UK. I looked up Homer or Homerton University Hospital. Well, let's slap the GPS in this and see if it changes anything. Well, folks. I finally got this thing updated, got the GPS plugged in, and it works. Went around the corner, into a nice shady spot, and um, you can see I'm outside now. So freaking sweet. Now another thing I don't think I mentioned was that you can actually save the maps offline. So right now I don't have any Wi-Fi and this thing knows exactly where I'm coming from. With the GPS I didn't have to set up any new fangs, fancy schmancy anything. It just picked me up <clears throat> and there I am. So I like that. So yeah, in order to download offline, actually I'll probably go back and show you how to do that. Alright folks, so I'm back. Now let me show you how to download offline. Hit the three lines up here, go to settings, uh, offline maps, choose maps, download maps, and then, you know, wherever, wherever, let's say Africa, and you get, you know, any, actually I wonder if they have Japan on here, it's always hard to find Japan on other ones, on other free maps, BBC, DFG, HJK, JK. Nope. Looks like no Japan on here. Malaysia. Come on, Japan. What's up? Japan doesn't like free offline maps. Anyways, it probably wouldn't work with uh, with how big everything is. Oh, sorry about that. With how tall their buildings are. Man, I tell you, I tried to get a GPS signal in the middle of Chicago once. That just did not happen. I'm just trying to find China on here. Malaysia, Hong Kong, and Macau. I'm gonna look that up. Wonder what that is. So get this. A lot of people from Hong Kong don't actually think that uh, they're part of China. They think they're uh, something else. Something else. But yeah, pretty cool. 
Okay, so here's that program I was telling you about. You can download this U Center directly at the U Blocks website, and um, it's gone through a lot of changes. One of the ma most major changes I gotta say is the map. Uh, older YouTube videos will show all the time that you can use uh, Map View, Google Maps. Unfortunately, that's uh, that's really not the case anymore. They changed a lot of things, probably because of licensing rights stuff like that. So here we see every location that this particular GPS unit has given. And one sec, if I switch it over to Google s Hybrid or Satellite, it'll give you a pretty good idea of why we get a lot of issues with GPS navigation. I'm, <laughs> I'm on half of this house and this thing's saying I'm all over the place. So uh, let's say helicopters that have GPS fail safes. This is the reason why they drift because it's hard to get a really good accurate location with something so small, something kind of within the hobby area. Anyways, let's take a look at the different views. Uh, if the tabs over here at the right, if you give them a double click, they'll open right up and you can see what kind of satellites we're hitting. Green is good, blue is okay, red is bad. And this particular one, come on, this gives you an, a really close idea of where all of the GPS or GLONASS uh, satellites are uh, and how well you can see them. Now, I gotta tell you, when I had this plugged in behind my system, it didn't give me a very good, a very good accurate uh, sign of where everything was. When I got a USB extension cable, it was a lot better. So if you're doing this professionally, if you're doing some of this professionally, you might want to get a USB extender and uh, extend it right outside of the window. That uh, could be a very good idea for you. There's also more things you could do. For example, you go camera view. Um, I'll try that again. View. Camera. No, it doesn't want to do it right now. Maybe because I'm recording the screen for some strange reason. Maybe that's why it's giving me problems. Oh, look, for the first time ever, it actually locked up. That has never happened before. I wonder what's going on there. Maybe it has something to do with the screen uh, recording. All right, and we're back. Yeah, it looked like a general program crash. But anyways, you go to view video. Um, let's take a look at uh, Microsoft Life Cam, and it'll give you a picture. How's it going, folks? It'll give you a picture of uh, exactly what you're doing. Say you are out, I don't know, chasing tornadoes or something like that. You could use this in order to see, uh, well, to record what's going on. And then you can also use, geez, what is it? Location tagging when saving the picture. Anyways, let's go into some of the other views. Uh, stats view, table view, Instagram view. One thing I should say is in order to get this working, I had to go down to sensor API and click on my unit. Actually, I think I even had to go one step further and go and make it know that this is a U block 7. For some reason I thought it was a 5 or something like that. Yeah, sensor API, network connection. I'm pretty sure I had to come down here and click this first and then I had to come over here and then click it right there. But yeah, <clears throat> that's what's going on. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Lots of information here. Oh, didn't mean that one. View, map view, there we go. Yeah, in older versions, very good Google map you could look all over the place. Um, but yeah, you can't in this latest version. Anyways, that's it. This is a pretty cool thing for 10 bucks. That's uh, it's really awesome. Um, location. Okay. Oops, sorry. I should go to Maps. Yeah, this GPS GLONASS device works with the map. So I could literally take this laptop away and uh, use it as a GPS, which is freaking crazy, crazy awesome. That's it for me. Never from Nez Tech. Best like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. Always. Why does it say there is no Petro Canada there? <laughs> Anyways, like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good.